Welcome to Teaching Channel. Today's my topic is related to teachers. So many teachers are going for an interview, but they are getting very scared because which type of answer, which type of question they will ask me, and uh, I can able to answer it uh, is or not. So so many queries and fear and lack of confidence are in the teachers that's why <coughs> that's why they are getting very much upset that i will do it i will pass it or not so i am giving the different different thing prepare also before an interview before giving a demo, make a prepare yourself, yourself and make practice at home. See, homework is very needed for every category, every aspects, every topics. You have to prepare yourself before one year, two days. And that is a homework. So, don't try to go direct there without any preparation. So, your preparation for and interview should be there so it should be there so practice for it in this your discipline is very important but more than that confidence your voice quality your attitude your racing sense greeting to higher authority are also an inspiring quality see this is a very very minor thing but all the teachers are not Focusing on this thing, their dressing should be proper, their voice should be proper, their greeting style should be proper, their attitude should be proper, should be proper. So, so many little things, they have to take care about it. Before going in the room, you have to take a permission of it and you have to go with a smile, smiling face. So, so many little, little, small things are there that you have to, you have to make it enhance the qualities and uh, do it at home for a, a little bit practice before going to an interview. Some amazing points which you should enhance. First is self introduction In every uh, school they are taking introduction they are taking interviews but first of all they will ask about your self introduction and sometimes teachers are getting scared and they just tell their name nothing else so for that i am telling different different way but you are prepare your self introduction then they will ask you the demo presentation so for that also you have to prepare yourself at home you have to make a practice three four five times for giving them demo demo should be different different they will give the different topics different thing so you should prepare for each and every thing so how you will present in front of the uh, panel body language your body language should be very very important body language means how you are entering how you are walking how you are greeting them how you are sitting what is the style of sitting how you are using their table so so many things are there so for that you have to sit uh, after getting permission and don't try to touch their table Put your file in your lap, right? And if you want to touch that table, just take a permission, right? And always keep a smile in your face. If your smiling give the in, uh, indication that you are confident, so don't fear. And if you don't get answer, just tell them. I am not knowing about it, but now I will try to know this topic also. Right. 
so the fourth point is personal appearance you should be dignified wear mild color clothes with a distance way which can cover your body with a distance manner it is also a very important everybody is going for an interview for an, an interview but the dressing are not proper the hair are not proper combing their style style their jewelries that, that is very you should not wear heavy jewelries you should not you should not uh, wear uh, heavy dark colors wear mild color and you can put a light lipstick on your lips also light jewelry light color smiling face your shoes should be little bit simple so you are not going in a party but you are going to uh, meet a intellectual person so you have to wear according to their style their level okay and it is a very important uh, uh, points are there and your clothes should be not open you have to cover your full body because you are going to work with children so children doesn't like your uh, dressing style and so you have to start from the from an interview the sixth is your body language should be impressed by the panel facial expression make your pleasant and confidence smile face body language and facial expression is very important straight body sit stand walk and look straight a basic criteria criterion light makeup jewelry like simple and comfortable shoes and jumper so when you enter in the class your face expression your walking style your body language your uh, discipline style they are observing each and everything and after that they have decided that the, this candidate is proper for us or not so you have to prepare each and every topics which which i have given in the videos and after that you have to do a practice at home how to sit how to touch any uh, object of the table don't move your eyes here and there generally so many students uh, candidates are going in uh, try to do the the rooms uh, decoration but don't do this you have to just observe the panel you have to just a question and uh, uh, focusing on that questions okay question 1 tell me about yourself this is the self introduction everybody will ask your self introduction so you have answer your name education awards different courses obtained you achievement in any field your interesting subject hobby explain everything so in a introduction there is not you have to give only name with a name or surname you are not finishing your introduction in this you have to tell you have given the resume but still they will ask you they will ask why they will they are asking they want to know from your uh, attitude from your self introduction way so you have to tell the your education if you got any awards you can do it if you done any courses different different courses that you have to tell them you have achieved any thing from any field that you have to tell them and you have to tell your hobbies your interesting subjects and uh, what are the what they are liking in all over the area of the school also right so you have to tell so many things so they can guess you how you are the second question is why did you choose to become a teacher this is also very important because why you are say there are so many fields are there but why you have choose this thing so your answer should be 
I believe that teachers are one of the most important pillar of society. Because of teacher, the society make a strong foundation of the civilization. So teachers are playing a very important role to for making a strong foundation for the child's future. You are a cre create the child's futures. The teacher profession is a very noble and respectful profession. Most important is I like children too much. So why you have chosen? So for that also you have to prepare yourself the which answer you will tell them. And the first thing is you have to enhance the teacher's qualities. The teacher should be like this. And I am knowing that this profession is a very noble profession and we gave a very strong effect in a society. So I like I like the children and I like the work with them and enjoy I will enjoy it to work with them. So many things you can tell them. Why did you leave your last teaching job? They will ask you because you have tell them that I got an experience in so and so school. So they will ask you why you are leaving the school. Answer is looking for bigger opportunity and I heard about your uh, about teaching. So I want to about your teaching style. So I want to enhance myself with your good qualities education. First of all, don't take any negative points of the school you have left. Nothing, not a school about school, not about the principal, not about the staff, nothing. You are, you were comfortable there. You have to just tell them, I, I was comfortable there. But I am looking for a higher opportunity and I heard about your teaching qualities, teaching styles. And that's why I, I want to work with you, with work with your school. What do you know about teaching philosophy? You are going to be a teacher, but you should know the philosophy of the teaching, right? So the answer should be, I believe that as a teacher, we are creating good and educated citizen for our country. Why, why you are became, going to become a teacher? Because we are creating good and educated citizen for our country. So every teacher knowing the student's capability and interest. So teacher works are to point out a path of his or her choice of interest. So that is the philosophy because you are knowing about your student of each and every qualities and which one is the highest uh, qualities in the child. So you can guide them that which way, in which school, in which field your, uh, you have to guide their parents, in which school your child should have to go, their level, according to their level. And uh, more than parents, more than mothers, teachers are knowing about the child. The nature, the liking, the disliking, the speaking quality, the playing quality, everything. So you can make uh, one point from the child that he is like this. And you can tell your parents also that way. Do you aware of the qualities of teachers for enhancing the children's career? See, before going to be a teacher, you have to develop your teaching qualities right there are so many qualities in should be in a teacher so after that they will adjust the children and they will give the result to the children the, te the answer is the teacher should have to accept the profession with a patient for it side by side teacher should have patience flexibility discipline and be able to read child's mind before dealing with the children. Every child, every teacher should know the child's psychology. And after that, you can read the child's mind. 
Why? Because you are knowing the psychology of the child. And then your patient, you, you should be a patient. You should be patience, flexibility. You should be a leader. You should be a role model. You should be playing like a child. So many things are there. You have to make a, uh, innovative activities for them and try to give every week different, different activities. Right. So there are so many qualities are there that you have to develop and follow. On the first day of your teaching job, how will you act in your classroom? Every teachers are getting confused. What I will do in the classroom? So for that also, you have to prepare yourself. So answer is first of all, introduction session. I will arrange because when the children are, uh, uh, when this unknown person are coming in the classroom, all the children are staring on them. So first of all, you have to enter with a smiling face and like that you are knowing all the children. So you have to start to make them jump and clap and write and that after that. You have to tell them, do you know who I am? I am your teacher. My name is so and so. So that is the introduction with a smiling face. Okay. And I, uh, as a friend, and try to involve in the small and easy game for giving enjoyment. And after introduction, little bit small game should be necessary because they view you, you have to attract children toward you and when you want to attract them don't try to teach writing or reading or nothing you have to play a game with them you are sing a rhyme you you have to sing a song you have to tell stories so many things which attract to the to all the children toward you but before all this, I decorate my classroom every creativity way, creative way. And when you enter in the class, before the children you have, before the children coming, you have to decorate your class. So they will get surprised who had done this. And after that, they will stare you. So you have to start in an in, in a innovative way. How will you use technology in your classroom? Nowadays, so many technologies yeah, are using in the classroom and it is uh, really needed. But for that, teachers should know about the technology criteria. According to given technology, first of all, I try to understand it and use it. After that, I plan which method and picture are making more interesting for them. And with this, I try to give lots of knowledge with fun and creativity. So first of all, teacher should, has to know each and every technology which is related to child. And with, with this technology, first of all, you teacher has to make use to uh, herself with that technology like a tab laptop, like a projector, like a mobile, anything. So first of all you have to know that gadgets. After that you can introduce in front of children. And before introducing you should know which pictures and which topics I can explain with a laptop or a projector. That also you have to prepare before children coming and with this you are giving a different different knowledge you are enhancing their knowledge and you are developing interest in you and your technology how will you deal with angry parents when you become a teacher you have to deal with the parents and every parents has a different mind different uh, nature so some parents will come to fight with the teacher so for that also you have to prepare yourself 
how you will handle them so answer it first i welcome them with a cool mood and a cool voice ask them about the problem first of all i will say sorry for getting trouble of inconvenience to you after that try to make them understand and then i inform our school laws and still i am sure to make your problem solved thank you so when parents come here to meet you first of all you have to say them good morning have a take have a seat then with a smiling place with a smiling face you have to tell them that i know where are you getting trouble and why you came here but still explain in a detail after that you have to tell them that there are so many parents so we are not following each we are not able to follow each and every parents according to their way and our school has certain laws laws so we have to follow the laws also so i will try to make you happy i will try to solve your problem as early as possible with a concern with a principal don't worry i will satisfy you and say thank you and uh, if you like my video please share it and subscribe it thank you